I made a portable overhead camera mount. And I used half inch by half inch by 1 16th inch aluminum angle. 35.5 feet total. It has a height of 4 feet. This width is 42 inches and the depth is 2 feet. Now at each corner, I've got a 10, 32 by half inch screw and nut. Now along the top, you see the, the top three braces, I used wing nuts because I wanted to be able to break this down, take it apart. I used some angles at each corner just so it was a little more rigid. You can tell it has a little bit of flex, but if you're on a sturdy table, it's not really a concern. So I cut four four foot lengths, four two foot lengths, and that comprises the two side frames. And then across the top, I have three 42 inch lengths. These little braces are six inches long. Aluminum is fairly easy to cut. You can use a saw and miter box like this. The four foot piece, it's gonna fit right inside of that two foot. That's gonna be my bottom runner so there's no sharp edges that could you know, catch on the edge or something. I want a nice smooth bottom edge. Now as I connected the two side frames, I used a corner brace to clamp the two sides together. And of course this one I've already screwed and drilled through it. But you want to use a punch. And you just put that punch, the point right where you want the screw to go. You want a solid backing. Take a hammer and hit it. And it's going to create a little dimple. So that way when you're drilling, your drill's not walking all over the place. It's going to stay right in that dimple. Now I clamped both together so I didn't have to worry about the holes lining up. Drilled through it. And then you can put your 10 32nd half inch screw in there, put it out on the back, and that's when you corner your frame. Do this to each corner. You've got four corners each side, so that's eight corners you need to do this to. Once I got each side frame together, I did the same thing with the top frame. I just took this angle that connects one side to the other, punched it, drilled it, and then I used wing nuts on the top because I wanted to, be able to take this apart where I could pack it flat and take it somewhere else. With the center angle, I just used a C clamp. For the actual camera mount, this is a one quarter 20. 3 4 inch long socket cap screw. A quarter inch length would be perfect for my camera. I didn't have that on hand. I had this on hand, so I used this spacer. And this is a piece of plastic I found in my junk drawer. Now, I do have a nut on there when it's not in use, because I, otherwise this screw would fall right out. When I first made this, I did not have this corner brace. But the thing just would flex so much back and forth. That I did one on this corner and then the opposite corner. So I only have it on two corners. It's plenty sufficient. It helps make the side frame and the top frame a little more rigid to where they don't bend. And even though it's on one side, it works well. If you want to go a little bit further, you could do it on both sides. But I ran out of aluminum, didn't feel like getting another length, and this works good. And these, again, are 10 32nd half inch screws that go through, 45 degree angle. This is a 6 inch length. I wouldn't mind a piece of aluminum angle going from this corner all the way to the other corner. Just because when you're setting this up, the legs want to flex in a little bit. So that's my overhead camera mount. It is portable. I can pick this up. I would guess it weighs maybe five or six pounds total. The first thing I looked into was threaded steel pipe. And you see a lot of people mount that directly to the workbench. I like that idea. It's solid. But I don't really have a good workbench to mount that to. And I want something I can move around. I work on some solid tables and it doesn't move around. It doesn't get very shaky. I mean, yeah, if you were to hit it, it's going to move around more than threaded steel pipe wood. This ran me about $80, but I already had all, most all the screws on hand. The only thing I bought was the aluminum angle and the wing nuts. And if you're starting from scratch, you don't have anything, it's going to run you about 100 bucks, And that is $72 for 36 feet of aluminum angle. And then the rest of that is going to be for screws. You need 18 1032 by half inch screws, 12 hex nuts, Six wing nuts, that's optional. I chose the wing nuts because they go along the top just so I can unscrew them quickly and break this down if need be. Now if I had chosen threaded steel pipe, that would run me about $150, 170 because threaded pipe was a little bit more expensive. You need a few different connectors. You need flanges to mount to the work table. Now you don't have to mount to the work table, but it would be a lot heavier than this, so it wouldn't necessarily be as portable. I make a couple different videos and how-tos, and sometimes it's just nice to have an overhead shot straight down so you can see exactly what I'm working on. That's why I made this mount. It's proved very useful. Now if you have a rickety table, it might shake a little bit as you bump that table. If you have even a halfway sturdy table, and as long as you don't bump it too much, this is going to be probably fine. It's not going to shake too much. So I use a piece of carpet just to delineate the space I have to work with. I know that as long as I'm on this carpet, you can see what's happening 
in the camera. If I go off the carpet, you're not going to see what's happening. And you can see it's really stable. If I don't hit this thing, it's not an issue. And even if I bump my work table a little bit, it doesn't shake the camera a whole lot. Now, if I shake this frame, if I hit the frame, you can see you get a lot of shape. As long as you stay off the frame and you just make sure not to hit the table, and you get a really great look top down on what's going on, which is why I want this overhead mount.